Well, it's the middle of March here, 2010. Monk shed hunting today in uh, one of my favorite spots. We're having a really early spring this year, so um, a lot of the snow is actually already gone, uh, probably in the last week or so here. And uh, it's really nice walking through the bush even. Uh, not much snow in the bush even. And I'm in a spot that I um, found uh, earlier on this year. Uh, got a grain pile out here, um, probably about a half a mile to the uh, northwest. And then about a quarter mile between here and there, there was an old rotten grain pile. So there was a lot of deer coming out of these uh, coolies and uh, feeding on the on the, both of the grain piles actually earlier on. I didn't find any sheds earlier on through here, but uh, now that the snow has gone, I got a chance to walk through some of the bedding areas and some of the uh, some of the bush here. So I've already picked up three um, three nice sheds. Uh, some they're old though, um, nothing fresh, but uh, it's really nice bedding area in here. So I'm just going to keep walking back and forth through here and uh, and see if I can pick up any more. I've actually just found one more just over here, so we're going to go have a look at it. I've got my three shed hunting dogs out with me, Champ, Susie, and uh, and the new addition to the uh, shed hunting group here, Jed. He's uh, Champ's uh, little pup, so he's he's about five and a half months. Training him to find sheds. Actually training all three of the dogs to find sheds. And they've been doing pretty well, except um, they've walked by all four of them here today. Um, but I've been training with fr with fresh antlers, and these ones are old, so I, I still got them to uh, to. You know, I pointed them out and still got them to um, to bring them back to me. So we're working on it. So let's go check out the shed over here. I can walk by. Oh, it's frozen in there. Good boy, Jed. Fetch, Jed. Find it. Find it. Good boy. Good boy. Find it. Find it. Good boy. Well, I found uh, one more since that last one. And I was working my way down through the bottom here and uh, kind of heading back to the east. Kind of zigzagging back and forth, and it's uh, it's some pretty thick bush with some tall grass, and uh, and you got to be right on top of the sheds to see them. I've got five so far, and I decided to come back up to the top here. I kind of thought I covered this area, but uh, as I got down to the bottom, I realized it didn't look that familiar. So I figured, well, I'll cut back up to the top here. So I got on a little deer trail through some really thick stuff on this uh, pretty. It's not a really well used trail, but. Anyways, started walking my way up and right on the top, nice shed. This is what we're looking for right here. It's a nice five pointer. He's probably, I don't know, in the 150s maybe, 160s. But uh, really nice, really nice shed. Um, looks like maybe last year's, I don't think it's fresh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's faded out a little bit, but uh, definitely did well in this little area. It's really not that big and um, definitely uh, Nobody else has been in here. I don't even know if ever, uh, just from the amount of old ones I found uh, today. So let's go check this thing out. Stay. Nice kicker off the back. Yeah, for sure last year's. No, actually might even be two years old. Good boy, Jed. Well, we ended up with, oh, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's that uh, nice one we found there right at the end. That's the last shed we found today. On our way back to the truck, 
we got to cross a little bit of a stubble field and we'll follow a deer trail on the way there. But uh, other than that, we're done for the day. Who knows, we might pick up another one on the way back. But it's a pretty good haul for pretty much my first time out. Second time, I guess, technically. And there's the next generation of <laughs> shed hunting dog. There's Champ. He's tired. They're all tired, but he's showing it more than the other two.